Welcome back, guys, to our episode of The Wolf Among Us, episode one. Faith. The Woodland Luxury Apartments, Fable Town. It's late. Old girl's gonna meet us back at home here soon. It's gonna be locked, so we're gonna have to, I guess, buzz our way up. Luxury apartments. Wish they wouldn't advertise that. Oh, never mind. Walk right on in. Oh shit. <laughs> Don't make me come over there. Look, I've got an hour of paperwork ahead of me, and I've already had to deal with one asshole tonight, so just... <gasps> Sorry, Bigby. Didn't mean to be an asshole. She's cute! Hello, Bigby. <laughs> I wasn't expecting anyone. I know this looks a little odd. But there's an explanation, I swear. You're out pretty late. Is there some sort of curfew I don't know about? What's with the third degree? Damn it, I'm late. Please, Bigby. Promise me you won't tell Beast you saw me. He worries too much as it is, and... It would just make my life a lot easier. Look, whatever it is, it's between you and Beast. I'm staying out of it. So this is Beauty. And she doesn't want I me to, uh, to tell Beast something. Right I'll explain it all to you later. I will, but I have to go. Beauty and the Beast. <laughs> it's not what you might be thinking. Inside our apartment. This game's starting off a little bit slow. I've got a feeling the action's gonna pick up here soon, so don't worry, guys. Security guard's doing his duty. That's for sure. What should we do over here? Suit of armor? My captain needs to dust this guy. What can we do by touching it? Oh, that guy's not waking up. Let's check our mail. Been a while since I got any mail. Seventh day in a row. Nobody loves me. Wah, wah, wah. All right, let's wake this mother chucker up. Hey, you wink? Obviously not. <laughs> Okay, so we aren't gonna wake him up. What's this over here? Woodland Directory. Did that have our name on it? I didn't see our name. Hopefully we weren't supposed to look at that and... Hold on, let's look again. We're looking for Bigby. I wasn't looking for Bigby. Uh, Bigby, 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 Bigby. I don't see Bigby. Right, I just want to make sure we didn't have to like memorize the room number and then get on the elevator and like type it in or something. Oh, that's cool. The little elevator thing's working. You can see it's down at one. Okay, here we go. Let's go home. Bigby, hey, wait up. Have you seen my wife? Have you seen Beauty? Oh, that's Beast. 
Uh, I haven't seen her. Nope. Haven't seen her. Oh. Okay. Sorry to bother you. Damn it. Something's going on. Well, I wonder if that was the right decision. I'm not sure. Oh, well. I lied to Beast for the beauty. I should have went bros over hoes. I don't know why I just did that. I just went chicks over dicks, and that was a bad move. Never let a girl interfere with a friendship. I don't know if we're friends, though, so. All right, Big B's apartment, Fable Town. Ooh, look at that. It's a cordless Man, old telephone. Know. At least it looks like. Okay, let's look in the fridge. You know I'm about to be grubbing. Should have got a smaller one. <laughs> I feel the same way. Anything in the freezer? We got some like bagel bites up in here. Some frozen pizzas. Nope. Just some ice cubes and not even ice cubes. <laughs> Straight up bachelor lifestyle, baby. All right. So let's look around the apartment. Might as well. Bluebeard's file. Oh, Bluebeard. Who's that? All right, note to self, Bluebeard. Not a trustworthy guy. I don't even remember ordering that. Probably a bad sign. Not- What the fudge?! I got a pig on my couch! <sighs> no, not again. Let's wake him up. Huh. Hey, Big B. I'm in your chair, huh? What the fuck? Um. Just gonna be silent. All right, all right. Oh, poor guy. I would have let him sleep there. Don't be such a douche, Big B. Don't just wake somebody up and make a move. Well, this just got real awkward. Got a smoke? Thanks. A couple thousand more of these, we'll be even on that house you owe me. This has got to stop. You can't keep sneaking off the farm like this. The fresh air and sunshine pitch they sell you on is bullshit. I didn't escape out of the homelands to end up in some prison, okay? Don't send me back there, Big B. You don't know what it's like, okay? You haven't been there. Calm down. I'm not sending you back. Colin! Colin the pig, okay. That for me? Nope. The house didn't blow itself down, Big B. That's all I'm saying. Do with that what you will. Now, I'm not saying it's reason enough for me to have definitely been offered a drink, but, uh, it would have helped ease some of the pain you once caused me, yes? <laughs> it also would have shown everyone how different you are now. If that was all you were saying, I'd be able to get some rest. I take it all back. This is why everyone hates you. It is better to be feared than loved. You know who said that? Yeah, some sad asshole. <laughs> Eating alone. But, uh, no. Um, hate's the wrong word. They fear you more than anything. You ate a lot of people back in your day. I thought we were all supposed to have a fresh start here. I can't change the past. 
Well, you can't change people's memories either. Look, I'm not saying it's fair, but it's real. People are scared of you. I mean, look at your hands. Who'd you get in a fight with? A fable, right? I'm sure you're not going around punching Mondays. I was doing my job, believe it or not. Your job is to beat the shit out of fables? Sometimes I take them to the farm. Fuck you. <laughs> I don't know why I have to be such a douche to everybody. You try keeping a bunch of fables from killing each other. How do you think this all works? I don't know. How? By being big and being bad. By being big and being bad. Don't say that shit in front of people. It's <laughs> embarrassing. Big bad wolf. That's the attitude that gets you in trouble. I'm sure you were shitty to everyone you came across tonight. Not everyone. It was actually Name pretty one. nice to that chick. Um... I don't actually know her name. Awesome. Great example. <laughs> He's roasting me, son. Life is easier with friends, Bigby. And we live a long fucking time. I know you like this whole lone wolf thing you got going for yourself. But I've seen the way you look at snow, okay? The puns are real. Me. Will you shut up? Well, maybe if my throat wasn't so parched, I wouldn't have to keep talking. Wait, that doesn't make sense. Just give sense. me a drink, please. Colin, enough already. I haven't slept in two days. I went out a second story window, and I want to get in two seconds of shut eye before I. Look, if I give you this, will you let me sleep? Yeah, yeah, all right. Probably. I'm going to be nice and give him one. Thanks, Big B. Not the most comfortable sleeping position in the world. Okay, that was a very, very weird segment. Uh-oh. The sexy bitch back. I certainly hope so. Here we go, boys. 